DJ Sharp MC. Live, 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 live. Back on the track. All right, I've loaded some sounds. I don't know where to start. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, guess we'll start there. Uh, what is that? That's a 174 BPM. Oh, and it's already a cut up track. <clears throat> All right, let's listen to a little bit of it. Maybe we'll chop it up. If it gets interesting. Wow. Pretty uh <clears throat> pretty interesting, but uh I think it's too much. So let's uh start from here. All right, let's start from here. Oh, it's just a bunch of sound. Hmm, nothing. The best part is the first part. I should chop this up using the audio edit. Wow. So none of this is even worth keeping except for maybe like that. <clears throat> so I highly recommend you edit stuff and save space. Let's see where we go. Oh, it might be 16 bars. Pretty interesting. <laughs> all right, so all the way to about here. So I might, I might, <clears throat> I might chop this up. Yeah, let's uh, let's see if we can do a sophisticated chop. So if I try to do a sophisticated chop on the whole thing, it would be too big. Or would it? Uh, all right, let's see what happens. So this is 174. I'm going to go ahead and put it on chop. I'm going to put it on threshold. Threshold might give me too many, right?
Yeah, I think um, that's going to be too fine. So let's try BPM first. That almost chops it up perfect. One bar, four beats, 16 slices. So why is it off? Because it should be, that should be perfect. Oh, maybe my loop is perfect. I mean, my loop's not perfect. Okay, so let's go back to normal. Look at the front. Oh, maybe I have to undo, undo, back to normal. Did it bring it all the way back? That would suck. Oh, no, just that part. Okay, cool. Bring it back to normal and look at the front, because maybe the front's off. Doesn't sound off, so maybe we'll just tighten it. Maybe here. Oh no, there's a kick there. Oh, it's that kick. All right, let's try. Okay, so now it's a little bit cleaner. Then we'll go to chop, and then we'll go to regions. <clears throat> And let's see if it did it. Did I just undo something? Yeah, I did. Okay, so let's try it. Oh man, I got rid of three, two. They're all off by just, just a hair. Ah, oh, man, I don't know how I'm going to fix that. Um, the start point, the end point, the BPM. Hmm. So I can go in and clean up every slice. Ah, oh, man. Um, I wonder if I could just fix the first slice. Hmm. Because it seems like the first slice is off by, by, by that much. Well, maybe it's not off. Maybe. Hmm. I don't think the beat, because it's a fast beat, I don't think the beat is syncing up. That's what, uh, hmm. All right, let's just try to lay something and see what happens. So we'll put this on 174, which is what I think I saw it said. 174, and then, oh wait, I didn't, uh, I didn't save it. Wait a second, that doesn't look right. Stop. Uh, <clears throat> okay. All right, so it's the whole sample here. So we have to put it on note on so we can start and stop it. And then I don't think I'll do it on loop. So let's just try something real quick. See if it loops. Okay, I don't. Let's try the straight loop. So it'll go. All right, let's go to four bars. <clears throat> Try it a little different and then have it not loop. Okay, and then let's put this back on four and put it on loop and see if it's clean. Uh, that where's my clean? Oh, it's because it's on five. It should be on four. 
Wow, it's not even playing correctly. That's worse. All right. Take two. Hmm, I don't know if I can get it to be clean enough. Oh, that's not too bad right there. Alright, we'll start with that. I can make that work. I got enough skills. I got enough skills, people. I can make this work. All right, so we start with that. I don't know what sounds better, doing something like that, or doing something like that. Shakers, not yet. Maybe. Hmm. All right. We'll start with this. We'll start with that sound. So we'll take the sound. Let's just go check it. It's already 174, which is our setting for two days. Uh, hit program edit. Go to LFO modulation. Put it on note on. All right, let's uh, let's just drop something. See what happens. All right, it's not too bad. Nice little shaker. Kind of goes. We'll have to figure out where the rest of the beat goes pretty fast. And it's not veering yet. All right. So now we need we need something strong to lead in. Hey, I wonder if I uh, take that sound and speed it up. This one. It might be a good technical exercise. So it says 78 BPM. We're going to go process, time stretch, 78 to 174. Oh, that's a... What the hell? Oh, it says it, yeah. I saw the two, two, three. I'm like, what the fuck is that? All right, so let's uh, press and do it. We'll change the length of the sample. Yep, I know. Oh, maybe that's why it changes it. So I noticed whenever you do a loop here and you go to program edit samples, it usually comes up short, but it didn't come up short. So there you go. So much for that theory. So that's the same. Wow, it sounds way shorter. But it sounds like it's on the right speed, so let's put it on note on. And we'll drop it over the beat. Make sure it's on loop, so it'll loop. All right, so we'll drop it over the top and see what happens. It's actually a really cool kind of reverse loop. Actually, makes it sound uh, different. It takes the drumming 
bass part and makes it sound a little bit more like techno housey. I need to be able to replace this sound because it's too strong. Okay, cool. All right, so what else we got? Let's go to the beginning. That's the bass. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think I'm going to take that sound. That one. It's a 106. And it's a one-time percussion. Okay, so let's process it to a 174. Now I don't remember where it is. Okay, let's uh let's drop it in here somewhere. Pretty cool effect. SFX one. Pretty cool effect. I don't know if it's the main part of the groove, but sounds kind of cool. I think that loop could be thinned out, but I'm not going to do it just yet. We'll find some other place to do it. All right. I know what sounds better, this one, or doing something with the snare. Okay, I'm going to do them both at the same time, because sometimes playing things off each other gets kind of interesting. So let's, uh, let's take this sound, put it on note on, so we control it, then take this sound, also put it on note on so we can control it and now let's drop these two over the beat maybe we'll do them one at a time or actually maybe we'll practice first see what happens <laughs> Subtle. Wow, I didn't realize it was that subtle. Let's save. I haven't saved in a minute. I didn't realize it was that subtle. You can hear it, but... I've been trying to work on thinning my beats out because I use loops, and so the loops have a lot of... Uh, they cover a lot of bandwidth in terms of the frequencies. So when you mix them with other loops, they fill up too much. But 
I guess that's a tune for another track or something like that. So I like this. Uh, what speed is it? 174. Go figure. Okay, so let's put it on program edit, put it on loop, come to sample, sample the loop, and then. Alright, let's try to. I think I'm going to kill the first beat and use this to make a second beat. So one of these beats is off. There. One of these beats is off. Uh, I need to be able to see it. So you go like that. There we go. This one comes in early. So select it. Move it back a little bit. So I think I'm going to do something trickier with it, because uh, for some reason it sounds lonely to me, this guy. So let's take it, let's do a shift, copy, let's see if we can get this playhead done right for once, move the playhead all the way to where we want it, and now this cover so you can't see, so that's, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's, you know. Uh, how am I supposed to see the play? I just covered it. Oh, shift, space. All right, let's. Wait, where was the other one? I think it cuts it. I, I think it's cutting it because it sounds like. Oh, it is cutting it. I think it's going too far. So then you come here, you go edit in, and let's bring it back, 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 and see how that sounds. Yep, that fixed it. It's a lot of work for such a little effect. It's not even, I don't even think it sounds that strong. Uh, this is um, drum loop. Ghost. Let's play it over the other one. Maybe it'll sound better. I don't know if it sounds that good. Sounds all right. I don't know if I'd be. Well, maybe we'll do a different version. Wait, let's check it out again. All right, let's go here. So we'll do a different version, maybe. Is it even playing? All right, so now let's play it. Without that, oh, and take off this. That's what it is. Sounds better with the drum loop without it. That's uh, that's the first time I heard that. It's interesting. So this is drum loop three. But that's the first time um when I've got these beats playing. This beat doesn't sound as good as this beat. I 
I guess I like more subtle, minimalist type, you know, deep house because uh, that sounds better to me than with the bass kick leading. All right, so we need some more sounds. Um, let's go to some kits, man. I'm tired of using all these samples. Let's find a kit real quick. <laughs> Anything on B? Nothing on B. What else we got? Maybe we'll do something with that. Take that sound. So the one thing I was going to try, should I try 16 levels or, or key group? I think it's pretty simple. Maybe 16 level will work for this. Uh. That goes. Maybe that. Not a bad melody. Kind of doesn't really fit as strong as I want, but I think it goes. Kind of goes with the uh, second set of sounds, with the stronger sounds, with uh, this one here. Yeah, it doesn't go with the uh, doesn't go with the main beat. It kind of interferes, but sounds cool. All right, let's find another sound. Oh, got to take it off 16 level. And should save. Haven't saved in a minute. I heard something. I don't know if I can play it. Let's see if I can play it fast. That's some pretty fast hatting right there, man. Hat hitting. I don't know if it goes, but it sounds pretty cool. And it was fun to do. Half the thing, I was watching uh, one video, and the guy was going over to NPC1 Retro, and I think he had an X and a Live, and he was saying how, even though he has an X and a Live, he has to give it to the NPC1, because having all the buttons go to all the pages just makes the workflow fun. And I got to admit, between the, the depth of the device, and the fun and the flexibility is probably one of my most fun pieces of gear. And I've had, I've had a lot of gear, as you can tell, because I can jam. Check it out.
All right, just a pretty fast little drum and bass beat. And we're kind of mushing through it kind of fast, but at least we're getting somewhere. What else we got? No, we don't need no more percussions right now. Nope. That's it. Oh, was it key groups? Oh, was I mean plugins? No, not plugins. Key groups. Key groups. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing to work. Let's go to progressions. Come up here. Um, house keys R and B. Neo soul. Oh, I wonder if um. I wonder if uh, pro progression music paradise came out with the new progressions. What's this one? That doesn't sound that fancy. That sounds too low. That sounds pretty good. Maybe a. I usually like B flat. Uh, I don't like these for some reason. The sound is good. I just don't think that's the right. Maybe a different note. Oh, maybe it's a different set of chords. Chords aren't going to work for a bass. Oh, I know what we can do. We can go back to Chrome and then we can go to a Pagiator and go to Bass, Arp, and I think there's one that's Bass Patterns, Rhythm, Chanti. I thought there was one that was Bass. Oh, maybe it's under Patterns? Dude. Oh, Patterns. Bass. Oh, do I have to hold down? Uh, okay, what else we got? Okay, what else we got? What else we got? Okay. Um, none of these. I mean, it's that might work. So. Oh, maybe that? All right. So, I don't know if it's going fast enough. All right, let's just try it. See what happens. I can't even hear it. So, everybody goes, except for this guy. So subtle, you can't even hear it. Doesn't sound bad, it's not loud. Wow, such a weak sound. Um, so I actually like it, it's pretty simple, but uh, this is where this is where we show you how. How slick this machine is. Now, what I wanted to do was add effects to this, and since it's a program, I should be able to add effects up here, right? Yep. All right. So then we want to add maybe air delay.
Okay, and then it's low. So I know if I add the dynamics. Oh, is it channel strip? Let's do air pumper because air pumper always sounds good. So that sounds pretty good right there. Then we just need, how are we gonna get the sound up? We can do compressor, EQ, or oh, air enhancer. So air enhancer. Boost high, boost loudness. Make it thicker more transparent, crunch the mids, that almost works, oh, low gain, maybe that'll work, high, low, um, so I'm going to keep you, even though you didn't do what I need you to do, what I need to do is get this sound up, high pass, High pass, low pass. This would drive. I bet that. Oh, it doesn't peak it too bad. All right, let's see what the beat. Still can't hear it, so I don't think we're where we need to be yet. Maybe air enhancer, you need to be changed out to something that'll give me a boost. Harmonic, frequency shift, boost, boost, boost. Uh, modulation, air. wow, there's an air ensemble in modulation or was there an air ensemble in someone else? Or maybe that was a different air ensemble. Can't hear it, buddy. Sounds cool, just it's not it's not thick enough. So it sounds good, it just doesn't, the volume's not there. Um, okay, what are we gonna do to fix the volume? I think if we go to one of these air compressors, maybe it's channel strip, you can get some gain on the mids. Well, that doesn't sound like it's... Bring it up front. Gain. So I can keep the frequency That's a little clear. Let's see if you can hear it. With the loop plan. I wonder if I can make it duck. I bet I can make it duck the, the loop sound. Oh man, I didn't want to get into fancy stuff, but it would be a good demo. So I want to have the looper. So we go to the looper. So we go to the looper. So we go main, main, then we go to the looper. Here's the looper. This one. And then we go to, it's 
effects and I want it to be ducked. So I need to go to Ducker and Ducker is under Dynamics. Yep. So then this is Mother Ducker. This is the guy who gets ducked and he gets ducked by the base. Okay, so then here I'm gonna need to change air. Maybe air ensemble will change it to mother ducker input select. It's kind of cool, but I don't know if it's working. Uh, so the way to find out is let's go to the base first, go to the ducker input on the base and oops ducker input edit all right so it's on bus one how many buses do we have we have eight buses it's on bus one and then you can do other stuff up here i never tried it okay so the input is set then let's go to the sound being ducked, which is this one, that one. I don't know why those two are on. Sometimes I always get phantom shit when I'm fucking with things. So that's the sound being ducked. Program edit, view it, and then to make, I'm gonna see him duck. So you change this. Nope. Change this. This. There he is. See him? So I like it, I just think it's ducking a little bit too much, but it sounds pretty cool. Cool effect. Glad I uh, got an MPC one and I can do it. So now, I gotta figure out how much. Maybe that's it right there. Uh, 
I wonder if I can make the drums, these drums, duck that bass. That would be slick. These drums duck that bass. These these drums are ducked by that bass. But we're not going to go that far. Just having one mother ducker working is enough. Ducker for me. All right, so we added that. Let's just check it out real quick. We'll have the ducker on and the melody playing. Take the ducker off. All right, so another thing, I, I want to try two other things. One is um, I wanted to add some hats, but I wanted to do them off beat. So let's see if we can do that. This is the bass, which came out pretty cool. Um, orchestra stab. Not that good of a stab. Oh. Oh, because I, I need chords, maybe? Progressions? It almost goes. sound terrible. I'm, I'm going to switch to some known good chords. I think my good stuff is either in other. Uh, yeah, let's do this. I don't know, let's, uh, one thing you could do is put it on half level. Let's try this. Off, but it's interesting sounding. Maybe it's the note. Why does it sound so fat? I guess maybe the sound is too rich. Oh, maybe it's already a chord. I wonder if that's it. Um, so to check it, we go note, go to everything off. No chords. Progressions. That's the original. Let's look at it real quick. Can you show me? I can't see it. Um, where's all the notes at? Oh, they're way up there. That's why. How do I get you? How do I get to show more? What do you do? Eight. Oh, let's do sixty-four. I don't know what that did. Maybe we'll tighten it up. To tighten it up looks like this one. How big is that? Can we see more? Oh, it's just one chord? Okay, cool. So I think this one, 
if we move this dude oh still i'm trying to see so we go like that go like that now we move that one this way hey what do we change oops we need to be on nudge we move it that way <laughs> I don't know if this needs to go, or maybe let's go back to. Nope. So it just sounds like these two are having some kind of conflict. Dude, what are you doing? This two. This one. I should figure out how to fix that. So helpful sometimes. It's too helpful. Maybe it's, it's trying to help me. Alright, so maybe this. Alright, I think that's it for that one. So this will be Melody 2. I don't know where it'll go, but it's uh I was trying to use a key group and then ended up using chord progression. But it doesn't sound uh doesn't sound super rich. Let's try it with this other beat just to see what it sounds like. <laughs> Sounds like the keyboard is just struggling to get his beat out. That mother ducker's pretty cool. All right, so. Uh, I think we're all over the place. Let's check the time. Oh. All right, so I guess we're still going. Uh, what else we got? No, we don't have any more. Car braids too. All right, so then we'll go to kits again. And I went through all those kits. Let's go back to bank A, and I think I need to be on four maybe, and take that off. I wonder what that would sound like sped up. Let's find out. So it's a 64, I mean a 128. Process 12800 We'll speed that up. Do it. I always forget where these sounds are. Is it here? Maybe, maybe you're helping me? Let's find out. Nope. There. All right, so that's that same sample sped up, and it sounds like crap. But what I want to do is we're going to test it out. Put it on loop. We're going to test it out over this beat just to see how it sounds. almost sounds like it doesn't go but if I take the snare out take the shaker out and just try maybe the melody I wonder if I take the 
bottom out of it. So we'll take we'll take this sound here. Go to program edit. Go to filter. Go to cutoff. Go to I think it's BP2. BP4 maybe. And we'll cut off the bottom. All right, let's try that. So that actually sounds interesting. It's kind of like a top loop. But when I was listening to that, I thought of something. So I'm going to mute you, go back to the original, and maybe do the same thing on the original. So the original is here. Go to fan pass. Oops. Make sure you press the sound. And go to band pass and then change it. So now it doesn't have any bottom. interesting but I think it actually sounds better with maybe a different band pass let's uh let's try a different band pass program edit band pass let's try two That really helps that loop a lot. Let's try eight. Let's start from high and go to low. So that, that effect sounds so good. I'm going to add it into the mix. So the way you do it is you come up here and you hit record. So now it's going to record the motion. And I think it'll record it even from play. So we're just going to try it. Oh, I need to start. I need to time it in. Oh, I can just do it on the second one. We'll do it on the second one. So now we take it off, and now this loop sounds more interesting just by itself. And so then if we bring stuff on top of it, it should sound better.
Really? That's what that bass sounds like? Oh no, that, that hat sounds like. Busier than I thought. Wow. It's interesting how uh, when certain sounds play, you can't hear the other sounds. So I think this is the beat that we're going with. All that effort, and I'm still just kind of going through stuff. All right, so let's just uh, keep going. We're almost there, people. Break my Brooklyn Underground. We're going to play some Congos, people. but I don't like those those sounds. one more. Stutter step. It's a slight stutter step on that. Is that it there? That yellow? Maybe that yellow is it. Just that one little yellow piece. The race. Oh, what was that? Don't be taking away stuff that I didn't tell you to take away. All right, let's uh, let's zoom. Then let's erase. All 
All right, so there's something there. Oh, maybe I should just make it a single. Um, play start. Is that the first one? I guess that's the first one. Why does it sound like it? So can we select this one? Uh, delete. Can we do shift delete? Shift delete. Nope. Cancel. Then we do shift cut. Then you, I don't know what you are, but you need to go. That first one was a little bit fast compared to the rest. So how am I going to space it out? It's three, right? Oh, maybe I can just grab them and move them. Grab them. Grab them and move them. I think that'll work. Highlight, move. First one too fast. Uh, first one's off by just a tiny bit. Is it the middle one? Wow. Uh, I usually don't do this kind of surgery, but it sounds like it's off just a little bit, and most people wouldn't notice, but that's coming in a little early. There it is. All of that just to get a little bit of a Congo action. That's kind of serious, man. That's not even the main part of the beat either. And I'm almost at 16 tracks. All right, let's find some uh, vocals or something to spice this up. So, Congo's done. I think I'm going to drop this in there somewhere. Let's see where it goes. Sounds so heavy that I'm going to have to do a filter on it. My favorite now is, I think, a B4. I wonder what the other band pass does. This one. Uh, oh, I can't even hear it. So what does the two do? No, no, the two. This is great two. Two. That one.
I don't know which one works best. Oh, maybe the four. Or the two. It's a uh, saddle. Would a high work? Actually, I think that's what I want. A high pass. Wow. All right, so we'll try a high this time. This will be base two. So it's interesting. I haven't been using the filters to uh, isolate the sounds, but that one actually is a good example of where I really want the bass to come through, but not so heavy that it distorts. So now, now you can hear it, and it's not too heavy. Wow. Interesting. I always learn something new. Let's try both the bases, see what happens. I need a I need some kind of orchestral sound. That's what it sounds like it's missing. No, no, not congos. Orchestral. No, no, not flute. No, no, not guitar. Not brass. No, no. Say it. Start with which letter? Which number? Maybe that. So this is the traditional sound here. Or we go with the funky sound. Alright, so this is pretty interesting. It says it's 120 strings. So let's take it 120, 174, and see if we can get an interesting riff out of it. We probably can. That's usually how it works. So then program edit, modulation, note on, samples, loop, main, loop, main. Oh, maybe that second half sounds the best. Second half sounds the best. It's right about here. part I like. Oh, I changed the sample. That's where it's tricky. The sample is changed, but the sample that's on the pad isn't changed, which is kind of confusing, but Um, 
this is where I want to do something super fancy, and I don't know if I could do it. I want to take this piece and move it to the front. And I think I can do it. I can do it in the other mode. Do I want to try it? Let's save. Save where we are. Well, maybe I'll record it this way, and then I'll figure out how to do it the other way, just in case. All right, so let's try it. Can't have you playing. Can't have you playing. Maybe we'll have you playing. can't really make it out. I don't think it goes as a beat, as a sound. I don't think it goes. It just doesn't, it doesn't sound like it's uh All right, so we'll stretch out the whole thing and we'll just play it normal, see what happens. See if it sounds better normal. All right, so if we do, wow, just with those two, that sounded very full. So that sound, it's just not a strong sound. It sounded strong when I was recording it, but it doesn't sound strong here, so. We're just gonna, we'll just do some effects to it and that'll spice it up. it out. Wow. It does not. It's not helping. That is not helping, buddy. Let's, uh, let's go for something else. Cause that's not helping. I wonder if a reverb will save it. This would be interesting if it just needs something simple. That would be interesting. So this makes the sound sound better, which is kind of interesting. So then if we use that sound and then we do this. So if we take that effect and we just bring it down a little bit, air EQ maybe. that to get that little bit of an effect really that was a lot of that was a lot of steps to not come up with anything useful let's check memory we're pushing a little bit not too much um 
All right, so I still, I don't know if that really helped. I mean, it's like that, but I don't know if it helped. That sounded really good, actually. Um, so it's a uh, sixty five. I can't do a 65. It's got to be double. All right, we'll try it as double. So if this is uh, 130, then let's process it at 130 to 174. And now I lost the sound. All right, so there's the same sound on the sample program. We just you have to do the same thing here. I don't I think they just want you to have the flexibility. Okay, so that's that part. Then put it on note on. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, what do we got for a beat? Let's bring in the main beat, take out the shaker, and see what we can do. Out of juice. Because that sounds unique, but it doesn't sound like it helps. I'm running out of beats today. That doesn't help. Uh, hmm. Pitch shifter, maybe? Sounds like it's got... Sounds uh like very unusual in a kind of strange way, not really in a strong sounding beat kind of way. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just relegate it to some kind of riff in the background. Maybe it'll maybe it'll have a place somewhere in the beat at the end or something. All right, so uh, I think we just need a couple vocals and uh, we'll wrap this.
puppy up. What else we got? Miss 14. I can make that go. See, I told you I can make that go. That's vocal sound number one. I don't even know what it is, but it goes. What else we got? I can probably make that go too. Let's, uh, Okay, so that sounds good, just a little loud. So if we can just do something to... Supposed to bring it down. Okay, so that part sounds perfect. Let's we'll save. And then maybe we'll put a maybe we'll put an echo on it. Or a reverb. No, she needs a better echo than that. All right, I think we got the second sound. I got. I might do something different with this beat, though. Oh yeah, I was gonna. Um, I gotta still do the hi hat thing. I wanted to try. Okay, so that sounds pretty good by itself. Let's. Uh, thought I heard one more sound. No. Okay, so I wanted to do sounds, so let's do... Maybe that? Sometimes things come out.
Now that's a killer effect. It's like a heartbeat. Sometimes it works. See? This part totally goes. Check it out. All right, so that's pretty cool. So then here. I'm going to do something with that drum and bass. So let's. Uh, let's find a drum kit. Maybe that. Those two. So it's in the background and you can't really hear it, but uh, I'm going to keep it. It's not what I was trying to do. I was trying to do something different, but for some reason I wanted to play the hats there. Let's actually see if it goes just to see. All right, so I think I got all my sounds. Um, let's find one more, and then that's it. We'll make something work with that. All right, so that's my sound. And I think we'll just do basic step mode, maybe. Can't do basic step mode because, uh... whoa. Okay, so next bar. Two more bars. That's cool, you see the green lights go up. All right, so something needs to happen. Oops, something needs to happen more dramatic. Maybe this, nope, this, this. That'll work. Nice little. I want to have some kind of sub kick or kick under the beat. Okay, so if we take that sound and we put an effect on it.
Well, it sounded good in practice, but it don't sound good in play. got enough sounds i don't know where we're gonna start with this beat though Ooh, that's gonna be tricky all right so let's uh i think that heartbeat sounded pretty good this one so maybe we'll start with the heartbeat and then maybe sounds uh this one i like that sound but i don't like that voice what about this one Oh, it doesn't go. Okay, so maybe uh, conga. Nope. Uh, maybe bass. Nope. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll just have to bring in a regular sound. Unless we could bring in the reverse loop. And then drop the beat. Oh, that'll work. This sounds kind of... It doesn't go either the loop i wonder if i could do something fancy um all right so we might try something fancy for this so let's just record it first and, and see what happens so let's save and then let's make the first sequence and we'll just call it start and then let's go to it So how can I make it stutter start? I could probably, I could probably go to the sound. Sound is here. All right, we're gonna try something fancy. All right, now where's that vocal? Vocal is here, here, so. There it is. So let's go. Is it, did I change the pattern? Or did I just change it for the sequence? Hmm, I gotta check something. Before I mess with this one, let's go back and check and see if this one changed. No, it didn't change. Okay, so sequence one is okay. Sequence two. All right, so if I start that way and then we go Yeah, it's got to go like that. Shoot. So I'm going to need to do another mute mix in here. 
on this piece. So it's going to have to go. It's going to have to go. Oh, it's going to have to go. How am I going to do it? All right, so we're going to have to do it over again. So we'll do, we'll do record, mute on. A lot of work to get such a small effect that's that's probably the other interesting thing about this is you do a lot of work and sometimes you don't get a lot of stuff all right so here's where we are so now we'll go yep that's the next one all right we'll go slow maybe We'll figure this beat out faster if we go slow. At least that's what the, they're telling me. So then we do space, maybe. Nope. Shaker. So maybe vocal. All right, we'll use this. Main two. A little, a little busier than I like, but we'll see where it goes. I gotta see how those sound. I don't know if they go together. I think they do, but it's kind of, it's kind of sounding like it's not exactly aligned. So for the first time in a while, we're gonna check it. So start, boom, 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 boom. Oh, that's what it is. All right, let's. Hey, I gotta hit record. Start, boom, 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 boom. All right, what's that main three twice thing? So let's see. So start, main one, main two, main three, this should be main four. All right, let's see if this thing was smart enough to fix it on the other side. Probably not, but we'll see. Oh, it did, cool, let's check it out.
Wow. Better than I thought. Not a lot better than I thought, but at least a little better than I thought. And I'm in an interesting place. I'm here. So we killed this. Alright, this is pretty intrusive, but actually, it'll make for a great transition if I have some place to go. I don't think I have a place to go. Let's take the voice off, so now I'm here, so I can switch to... Maybe this? Okay, so maybe this one? Nope, so it's got to go back to maybe this one. So it needs to go back to normal. Hmm, what about this one? Nope, what about this one? So maybe I can go, I'll bring the beat in. That effect makes it sound pretty funky. It wasn't what I was trying to do, but maybe I can use it to get rid of that bass. So now we can get rid of the bass. Maybe top loop. All right, a little busy. Well, it's already a fast beat, so. All right, so then here we have. So maybe what we'll do is we'll bring in do this it's not what I want to do but uh I brought in that mother ducker base and I think I dropped it too much so we're gonna take it out maybe we're gonna that'll work I don't know where I'll go after that yeah, I think my uh, my main beat is too strong because that's taking over like all the sounds, and without it, it sounds empty. So it's kind of kind of the wrong place to be actually. So I'm here. So we'll just do this. We'll go to go to the main beat and we'll just drop some stuff over the top. All right, so we'll bring this in. And then I don't really want to hear her talk again. That doesn't sound uh, like it's required. So then we'll keep the heartbeat, maybe bring in the kicks. Yeah. So main 12, I guess. I don't know. We'll just keep going. I don't want to run out of battery power. I'll be pushing it these days. I'll be seriously pushing it. With my two-hour videos. All right. So, 12. 
and we're here. So maybe take you out. I think that goes kind of haphazardly, but it goes. Oh, maybe I can switch to the other beat. Yeah, that's what I'll do. So now we're here. All right, so this goes a little more busy than I like, but you know, fast beat anyway. That goes. Main 13. Main 18. That goes. My numbers are all off again, but I think, uh, I think the beat's kind of coming together a little bit. Better say. All right, so we're here. I better check memory. Oh, not too bad. Oops. We're here. <laughs> Maybe this riff. So I think we'll go here. This will be main 19. It'll let me use these uh these other melodies because they go with this beat pretty good actually. So this one will go. Sometimes the beats sound really good. I think I'm going to spend more time uh, making beats. This actually goes really good without that other part. All right, we can start winding down now because now we're here. So maybe this one, Congress maybe, nope, see if effects come in, yep, I'll do that one time and then I can get back to my um, main groove I think, save. So now we're on the main groove, and the main groove is... Wow. 
usually don't go to just one beat, but I think this one will be the first time, you know, we're like in the middle where it goes to one beat, but I think it sounds strong. Yep. Now I can just figure out how to wind it down. Oh, I can wind it down from the heartbeat. Yeah, it's just going to, I can do like two more measures. Yeah, I already hear the ending. It's kind of cool. Because uh, my brain's like, now you can either go to the heartbeat or I can go to the other beat. So I can go here. Nope. So I guess we're going to go here. I think my numbers are like all over the place, but I think I'm just going to end it. So it's going to go. Go here. So I think I'll just go back to here. All right, so we have that one voice. And I think we'll just end it. We'll just end it on that note. All right, save. Put the rest of these tracks in. Then it's, it's going to be a beat. All right, so here, song, go here. Now let's see if I can do it right. You hold down record, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, bank B, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. In. Holy crap, did I get it right? 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 21, 22, 24, 29, and I think I got it right. Oh, I was doing that blindly. All right, so that goes there, that goes there. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Check this is going to be the beat. Be the beat. Be the beat. Be the
That's how it goes. That's how it goes. See you next time. 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 See you next time.